afternoon, everybody. It's Mike Coppage on uh, a Sunday uh, evening, and I wanted to talk about John Curtis, Christian Safety, Hunter Dale briefly. Uh, Hunter Dale has always been one of my favorite players, and that's because he's a guy who uh, he doesn't fit the prototype height. He doesn't fit the prototype speed, but nevertheless, he racks up incredible numbers. For example, when you look at last year's John Curtis team, uh, he led the team in, in interceptions, and it wasn't even close. Uh, Hunter had eight picks, and then more highly touted DBs, such as uh, Terrence Alexander, uh, for instance, had two, and... Uh, and Matro McGraw, who's now in Oregon, had uh, zero. Uh, Hunter, he has what you call a knack for getting to the football. He uh, we blocked a punt or blocked a field goal against uh, Evangel Christian. He may have done both. Uh, I know he had one big play against Evangel that was called back. But he's a guy who knows how to stick his nose in there at the right time and be at the right place and he is uh, probably uh, well actually without a doubt he's my favorite player on the John Curtis Christian team now I haven't talked to Hunter, Hunter in quite a while he was scheduled to commit to Nebraska not too long ago he was up there uh, visiting with Kendall Bussey his friend the uh, running back from um, Isidore Newman and uh, Hunter came up there and he announced his commitment and posted pictures on Twitter with, with Bo Pelini and of his visit and next thing you know when he got home uh, lo and behold uh, the word got out that he had not committed and the pictures uh, found their way off Twitter so what I'm hearing now is that he's gonna, going to end up at Oregon with with Matrell McGraw, but I did not hear that from anybody with Curtis. Um, I did not hear that from McGraw. Uh, like I said, I have not been speaking with anybody from uh, Curtis for uh, for quite a while. Um, there's uh, things have changed over Curtis over the last couple of years. Uh, I've always been a huge Sean Curtis fan. Ever since I was a uh, small child, uh, but I do not uh, talk with anybody from Curtis these days. Um, uh, last year, when uh, Matro McGraw and Malachi Dupree and uh, some of the other guys, you know, started uh, really uh, blowing up. Uh, they wouldn't give me the time of day and so um, I quit trying to uh, talk with them because if someone doesn't want to talk with you in the media then hey you get the, you get the message pretty quick now uh, I will say that Hunter Dale was never was never like that and uh, Kenny Young was uh, never like that uh, George Marrera is another guy who uh, was like that. So I'm not here to put anybody on blast, but I'm in the media. I'm here to tell you the stories, of what's going on, things that you might find interesting, and so I'm going to put it out there and let you know what's going on. Um, I'm looking at the stats right here, you know. Hunter Dale had 109 interception return yards last year, so uh, no one else on the John Curtis squad had more than 15. So the kid knows what he's doing when he gets the football in his hands. He is a special player. Uh, he's listed at six foot in most places, but at the rivals camp they measured him at five foot ten. But uh, regardless, he's going to be a player at the next level. And I don't mean he's going to be a player on the roster. I mean he's going to be a player uh, on the next level. Now, one thing's interesting about John Curtis that uh, you may or may not heard about 
Uh, when you look at their roster from last year, there's some players that aren't there anymore, to the best of my knowledge. Quarterback Abby Tuzet, uh going to Mississippi to a school there, as far as I know, along with uh, Jacory Fullerlove. I may be pronoun- mispronouncing uh, the latter's name, but those two are going. Also, I was told yesterday by a source that tied in Hunter Thibodeau, who can definitely play. I heard that Thibodeau is gone from John Curtis as well. So uh, I just want to give you my take on what's going on with Hunter Dale. Um, you know, he has dropped in the scout rankings from he he was around number 65. He and Justin Reed were neck and neck around 65 and 64, 63 and 66, somewhere around that neighborhood. Um, uh, Hunter has plummeted all the way down to uh, 90, the 90 range. So he is taking a big hit in terms of player rankings which will be uh, interesting to see uh, in terms of whether he uh, shows up these people who did the rankings when he uh, performs well in college. But uh, that was just my take on uh, on Hunter Dale and uh, maybe you learned some things about uh, John Curtis that you may not be have been aware of. Uh, in the past I've been known as a big John Curtis uh, uh, supporter in terms of being a media member who enjoys following the team and uh, I don't uh, talk with people from John Curtis these days uh, too often so anyway uh, no hard feelings lost here but I want to let you know what's going on uh, the, being in the media it's best to be transparent and and let everybody know the truth and so that's what I'm doing uh, look for Hunter to have a great senior year and I'm rooting for him because I've always enjoyed uh, talking with the young man John Curtis does have a lot to be excited about because they do they do have the eighth grader coming up and I will uh, mention his name and in the upcoming episode he's the one who excuse me won two running back MVP awards over Darius Geist at the uh, NUC Five Star held at uh, Joe Uni Stadium a few months back. So that's all for now. Uh, if you have topics you, you'd like me to discuss, please post them on my Facebook. Uh, I close the comments on the on the videos because uh, I don't want to encourage trolls or uh, or anything. <laughs> any anything but uh, if you want to come on to my Facebook and troll me uh, hit me up and uh, let me know what you'd like to hear about and I will address it so uh, with that being said I want to thank everyone for watching I want to thank you so much for your prayers for my mom she's doing so much better she's moving from an ICU unit tomorrow to a uh, rehab hospital where she will reside for two weeks while she tries to get her strength back so uh, again I'm out uh, peace and I will talk to you soon have a blessed rest of, of uh, this Sunday take care